So my sisters. All right. Have a good day, too. Bye. My mom really did like them. Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well today. I have a sketch box today to show you. Yes, as you can see, I blacked out my address and blacked out the tracking number because I don't want anybody to track it. Um, I also blacked out my address with a black marker. So, but this is the artist for the month art by Molly McHenry at Art Harpy. So the supplies that are in this box were used to make this image. So, so here you go. Here's the opening of it. Just to make it hard to open. So, of course, you get your typical blue stuff in it. This is a nice little case. Oh, I like this little case. See, look at this case. This is a nice little case. You can do a lot with this. You do a, oh, I see how it goes. When it's filled up. That's a nice little case. We could always use one of these. These are these are always good to have. So I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, let me see the little thing here. And then they give us this little thing called um, the featured artist. So here's another featured artist that they have on their thing. That's really pretty. And it's um, Jade Hennon Cantrell. And it gives you a little information about her. So that's always a nice thing to do. Have in there. So you get this art piece. Then they gave us a kneadable eraser. These are always good to have. And they box it up in this little thing. Hi, Lily. How are you? So. That's like really nice. Ooh. Marker paper. Ooh, 50 GSM. This is number 37. And they gave us some nice marker paper. I like these little pads because you could use a lot of them. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Gave us some pens. I'm just taking out this stuff now. Where's my sketchbox sticker? Did I get a sketchbox sticker? So we'll put the box here. I like these things. So. These are the artist pencils. These are graphite pencils. These are drawing pencils. These are always good to have. I like these a lot. Then what is this? Oh, this is a Copic multi-liner. I don't see these too often um, in my boxes. So I'm really, that's an interesting thing to have. I don't think, the last time I had one of these, they were black. So that's a nice thing. Then what is this? It's a Kirataki, Kirataki fee calligraphy pen. It's water-based dye ink. And then they gave us three more fine liners from Imat that I haven't seen before. So they say the paper retails for $13.30. The Kirataki calligraphy pen retails for about two fifty. These each refill be retail for two twenty nine. The needable eraser is five forty one. So thirteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty three, twenty six, thirty six, forty three dollars. They say this retails for about four dollars, which is a staff favorite. The pencils retail for about $13.30. And the paper is like about $8. So that's what I got in my sketch box this month. I kind of like it. Plus, I like this little case. Because, you know, I could use it for all kinds of things. Like I could put, probably store some diamond paints, paint and pens that I like the most in here. The ones that are really valuable, I probably will put in here. 
that's a good little case. So that's a nice box. I like this box more than I like the other box. Um, as some of you know, um, we've had sad news this week in the Colony community as um, Colony Jen has passed. So some of you know about this already. So. You know, it's very sad that she has passed. Sorry, guys, I'm going to drink a little bit of my water. Um, some of you know that she uh, passed away, and I'm a little bit sad because I really liked Jen a lot. You know, I thought Jen was very funny, very quirky. It's just very sad to see that Alice, Ty, and Call Me Jen both have passed this month. Um, a lot of you didn't know Alice. Um, if you guys knew Alice, she... She was a figure in the Facebook group. Sometimes she would be on streams and sometimes not, but she was a big picture in our community as well. So I feel very sad that these two ladies have passed. So this one is anime coloring book. This is from Pink Label. Now I believe this is from the same company that does the creative lounge books. So for the Demeter Victoria books, because it has that feeling. To it so very much has that feel of a Demeter Victoria book. It is single sided and they double images in all of them. This is very much an anime book, it has black backgrounds. I have left the link below down below where you can get it. This is anime coloring book. Look at that, that's cute. That means I may want to color it. So. That's pretty too. Like all the images in this, all the images are really cute in this so far. And I want to look up the um, illustration. She has a few more books actually in the on Amazon. That's really cute. I will say I'm much happier with my sketch box this month than I was with last month. Maybe two sisters, maybe mother and daughter, maybe best friends. I really like this one. Oh, 
I'm not sure. Um, two people passed away. Uh, Kalumi Jen passed away and Alice Ty passed away. Now, a lot of people didn't know Alice Ty because she didn't spend a whole lot of time in live streams, but um, she was a big fixture on um, Facebook groups and in the coloring book uh, community in the Facebook groups. Uh, Kalumi Jen passed away. I see this, I think of Sailor Moon. I do not know why, but I always think of Sailor Moon when I think of this image. Think of images like this, like that classic anime feel. That's cute too. Look at those big, big eyes. So, this is section two, which is basically the same pictures as part one. So, I think we're going to do this one. It is that because she was a good friend to a lot of us in this. Um, community. So we're going to be using markers. It's okay, Michelle. You can always watch back what we got from our sketchbooks, which I was much happier this month. It's just, I, I was informed. Uh, I think I knew a Jennifer at that, but I wasn't really sure because Miss Robin had mentioned something on one of her Facebook groups. This is vivid pink. Now this is an anime girl, so we can do her all kind. We can do crazy things with the hair color here that I can't do on other books. I think Michelle had devotions to her today in her channel. It's a terrible blow because she was one of the kindest, sweetest people I ever met in my life. Call me, Jen. So sad to see her die. Exactly. I think um, Michelle had prayers for her this morning. If I'm not mistaken, I saw the title of one of Michelle's videos.
I was going to try to buy everything at one place. A place that's registered for like Apple or Amazon because they pretty much have good Apple products. That's very weird because sometimes it doesn't do that for, um, I think it's something with the processing when you do live streams. I don't know exactly why, why it doesn't do that, but it does do that for some people. But I think after like an end, the first day it doesn't do the live stream during the record, but I think after the second or third day, it does do that. Can you return the case, Mr. Michelle, or no?
the small nibs are good when you want to go into the tiny, tiny little areas. I didn't send you washi tape. I know for a fact I didn't send washi tape. <laughs> you didn't have to retract that. Miss Michelle. I like this pink. It's called Anime Coloring Book uh, by Pink Label. I'll show you the cover before we end the stream today. So. This is the book I got today. You know, you can always look back at the videos, you know. It just seems so sad that she passed away. Um, I don't know what she passed away. Of. I feel like utterly sad about it. But, you know, she has a huge content and an archive on her site. I don't know what that is. Uh, color me Jen. I really don't know much except I read on um, Robin's announcement that a gen had passed, but I wasn't sure which gen. Because there's a few in the coloring community.
She passed on the 25th. said because you know expect that. Oh yeah, this is called Vivid Pink. You remember those old commercials where they were selling the chewing gum and they always come out looking pink? Not for the black girl, but the other commercial took them. They were from several places. Uh, some were custom. Some you had to go into Facebook groups. Some I got from Amazon. Some I got from Diamond Art Club. Um, some I got from Etsy stores. Some I got from the Facebook groups. Which one? Three of them. Which one? This one? This one is called Cloudy Day. I had to, um, I actually won the right to purchase it because it came from Stephanie Sebastian of uh, Patriotic Beauty. She has a um, Facebook group, and what she does is she does pen drops on her group. So what happens is she tells you what the price of the pen is, but everybody has to be uh, 
doing that. This one came from an Etsy course store called uh, Pens by Maggie. This was an Etsy shop. So this was a one of a kind item that she had in her store. Then this one came from Axe and Iron. This one came from Axe and Iron. This is an Etsy store. So those three, I know where I got them from. I know where I got them from. Different pens, different things, you know. Uh, I'm just a little poking on this thing. They came from different places. These came from Fantastic Painters, Create Me Not by Denise, uh, Cosmic Pens. This one I got as part of a Victoria Moon one. Oh, I can't remember where I got this one, but it was from an Etsy store. Uh, then Bonnie Crager is this one. I can't remember who I got this one. Fairy Dust by Sheila, Diamond Art Club. This one was sent to me. I don't know who sent me this one because this was a pen I did not order. Cosmic Pens. Drill Pen Frenzy, that isn't a pen, that is not a pen. This one, not sure. Not sure where I got this one. This one I got from Amazon. Drill Pen Frenzy, I think this was a yo-yo one, yo-yo craft, Diamond Art Club, Enablers Outpost, Jim's Handmade, Diamond Pen Pal, This one is a pick-me-up pen from Amazon. This one was Drill Pen Frenzy. So it depends on where you want to go. Because there's a lot of different stores out there now for drill pens. And I keep finding new stores and new places on Facebook, so... But some, like the pick up, pick me up pen was not a lot of money because I got that on Amazon. Yes, Jen had a channel. But they're all different, you know what I mean? So. Don't try out on me. happens is I think what happens with this um this is not a knock on anybody's channel or small channels in general sometimes you know real life will get in the way of us doing things <clears throat> sorry guys she did quite a lot of stuff so I have Carmine, Sky Blue, and Light Violet. So here's the Light Violet. Baby Blue.
spectrum green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today I got um, an email from Color in Heaven. Now, for those who don't know, um, Color in Heaven is a monthly magazine that I get, and I get it as part of a subscription service. So they sent me, um, uh, those who get it know that, that they send an, an email if we want to get the special or pre-order the special. And they're coming out with the Fairies content soon. Who was the person who was talking about the diamond pen pendants? Oh, Cindy. And then, Cindy, I have other stuff on the way, too, from um, James Cleaver, who uh, does Black Wolf pens. He also does diamond pens, and his pens are outstanding. But you buy the blanks, and then he'll make a pen out of those colors. You have to buy the blanks, and then from those blanks, he will make a pen, uh, a pen for you. But his pens are outstanding, so I have two. I have a couple of more pens coming. So, Oh, that was very nice to do. And this red is carmine. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 
This is quite violet again. This is light violet. I love this one. Even though it's a darker purple, I still like it. Skin tones. I've already used up three skin tones in this set. Yeah. That's how much I use my skin tones. Anything that is a skin tone. Excuse me, can someone please block uh, Billy Hill? I don't think that's appropriate. To say that on my uh, thank you, Robin. I don't think that's appropriate to use that language. I don't think that's very nice, and I think it's very inflammatory. Thank you, Miss Robin. Thank you to the mods. I did not think that was. Tender pink. So it's any handling, okay. You guys know I have almost every handling book except for one. And that's the journal book, but that book did not interest me. You know, guys, I, I keep it, I try to keep everything pretty vivid red. No, I try to keep it pretty much simple. You guys pretty much know that. Pretty much have things that I, we say and do here, and I try to keep it very 
even, but I don't like when things like that get said in the chat. So I want to thank you guys for blocking that, blocking that person. You know, I'm I'm not gonna tolerate that behavior here. You know, I don't have a problem with what people believe or say, but when you start making comments like that, it's inappropriate. Jimmy Roll. I'm not sure which one is this. Is this a Stardust, I think? You know, I've had these jelly rolls since the very beginning of my coloring journey, so. I don't think that's what have I had my channel? I think I've had this channel since 2013, but I didn't really start doing the um, the color tube. I originally had it as a supplement when I was doing book blogging. Yeah, believe it or not, I was actually a book blogger before I was a YouTuber, so I do have my blog. So, um, you know, I was a big time reader before that. No, that's not the right color. This is the problem when you're trying to find the color you want. Okay. 
I want jump cream, but I don't want it too dark enough. Mint green light. No, I want to see what this color is. Yeah, that'll work. I would say that I got into my color around 2015, 2016, so. I've had the channel since I think about 2013, maybe a little longer than that, but I didn't really start doing it full time for a long time. Like I originally had the YouTube channel as a supplement to my book blogging, and then suddenly I changed that. Those videos were not very good quality in my book blogging, so I deleted it from the channel, so. Um, you know, if I go by just the coloring, I'd say probably about four years, maybe five, I've had the coloring part of this up, so. My early videos were horrible. Because when I started, I had that old, um, I didn't even have a tripod when I started this channel, to tell you the truth. I didn't even have a proper tripod, so. I was using an old, um, what do you call it, those old clips to do my channel. So that's why my videos were so shaky in the beginning. But those early videos helped me tremendously because then I knew what I needed as I went along. Like the three things you need, a good video camera, a good tripod, And some coloring supplies, so like coloring books and like either markers or pens. But when I started, I wasn't doing lies. If you guys remember, I was doing a bunch of coloring chats, not lies. I built up before I did my lives, you know, because I needed the confidence, I needed to learn skills. My mother's going to sleep. I didn't like my breakfast this morning, so um, I went to Starbucks and got something else. So, you know, Starbucks has that mobile order system where you order something and then...
to the same. But you can use your Copics with your budget friendly markers. I do anyway. Because I'm just a person who likes to use them both. Where am I, please? BG45 or BO2. BG45 or BO2. BO4 is a nice color. BG11 is a little too light, so it has to be something dark. BG05. That's my Copic marker chart if anybody's interested. Nile blue. Damn it, I should have picked up darker blue. Oh well. Depends on the person you are too. If you use a lot of skin tones, in my mind, if you use a lot of skin-based colors and you're coloring a lot of people like I do in Kim does, actually I would recommend getting a Copic skin tone set with the refills. You get the Copic skin tones and then you buy the refills. Because if you're like me, you go through those colors awfully, awfully fast. Actually, this color came out really, really nice on that. I think we all go through our color schemes. Like, what color scheme can I use for this? What color scheme can I use for that? And no, I'm not doing a background. Do not ask me for backgrounds because I don't like doing them. I'll do them what if I feel like they're necessary and they add something to the picture. But sometimes a picture doesn't need a background. Like the other day when I did that Jade Summer picture, that was because so much of the picture had been done. I felt like it needed that sky background. I love pinks. Now, somebody was complaining the other day that um, the Jade, the new Jade Summer Color by Number book didn't have any pinks in the color chart. I was like, what? I was thinking of just getting the book just to see if this was true that it didn't have.
that I'm going to have to get a refill for this BG45. Sometimes colors look similar when you're dealing with the copper. Sometimes colors will look so similar in color. I know, but it's like people are complaining that there's no pink in there, in the, in the color chart. So I'm like, go replace it, guys, then. Why? Because you use too many dark colors. I love light and dark together. Sorry, guys. I have some water with me. You know, whenever I drink um, the pumpkin spice latte, I'm just refilling the Copic. See, when you refill it, you have to be careful how you refill these things. Whenever I get a new Copic or a new Copic color, I put it on the chart. I always try to, when I buy new Copic colors, I always try to get refills two of them. People get like, ah, oh, this color doesn't work. Why does this color not work? Okay, this is baby skin pink. I love that April Cup company. You, you know what? I don't use a whole lot anymore. The ones I need in full market because I have hardly any left in that set. Those were a good marker. Like if you can't really afford a Copic but want a quality marker, I really recommend the ones I need to know the big brick markers. But I'm going to tell you why I recommend the big brick ones because you can find them easily. They come with refills. Um, 
they're very similar to Copix. Um, the reason why I would not recommend Winter and Newton, unless you're willing to spend the money on them, is because they don't refill. So once they're all used up, they're all used up, but they are growing in colors. The only thing I don't like about them is that they're not refillable to pro markers. So I've heard good things about Spectrum Noir. I've only ever tried one of their products. It was the Tribe One marker, which was a very good marker that I got from um, the Copic marker from a sketchbox. Only thing I wish they weren't so expensive because they're like three colors. It's the same color, but three different shades. Like one is a lighter color, a medium color. And the idea is that you blend the three colors together. Well, these markers dry pretty fast. So, our little girl. Yeah, I could do a background, but I don't want to do a background because I think it would take away from the picture. So, as you can see, now in close this, the part of where it's darkening. But as you see, it, it starts to dry up and the colors are drying up. And this is what this was, what was baby skin pink. Now, I love some of these colors in it because they supplement my Copics really, really well. Except these, the only bad thing about these is that I can't refill them. Like now some people would say, yeah, you can refill them. If really? I think it's a, it's a preference, Kim. It's not that I'm going to say I've had Kali Arts and I've had these. I like these better because they're a bigger set for one, and they're a lot less. They're about the same price as the Kali Arts. So uh, I got these for what did I get these for? Like about fifty something dollars on sale. I think they were maybe a little less than fifty. I think like forty eight, forty nine dollars. No, they were about fifty two with the tax. Yeah. About $52 I spent on these markers for a set of 168 Now, some people could say, well, you could buy what Copics with that. You guys notice that it started drying the, the thing? Really? You know, you can refill the Copic ink into your, into your Cali Arts. Yeah, you can do that, but you have to know the shades exactly to do that. So that's why when you do, if you're like me and you get Copics, this is why you have a chart like this. This chart was done by Sandy Alcott. So when I use it to this day, it helps me learn what my colors are. So when I get new ones, I add them to the chart. But I'm buying them individually, not like in three packs, not in six packs. So I'm buying them individually, which is a little bit more expensive, but. You know, the thing about a Copic, um, now this is a sketch, this is a chow. And this is the classic. Do you think that's a shoulder? Okay. Thank you. That's the problem with Amazon, but I'm going to show you the differences in the markers. Now, this is the classic Copic marker. Now, when you get this, you can see this little nib here. And then you see the big one. So this this is your typical classic one. Now you can take out the nib, refill it. But you can also, and they don't tell you this, but you can also buy replaceable nibs for these. So when you buy the nibs, sometimes my nibs go bye-bye. So luckily for me, I've bought replaceable nibs for them. So that way, if I ever have a problem with one of them, I can just replace the nibs. 
Now this is the sketch, which is considered the brush tip marker. So this is the brush tip. And you can also replace the brush tip too. Chisel. This one apparent this one holds the most. If if you when you want to refill, the classic one holds the most. This holds the second most. This holds the least amount of ink in your refill. So here's what you get with the you get the typical nib, but the nibs is shorter. This is a shorter marker. It's my only child that I have. Then you get a brush tip, but the brush tip is much thinner. Keep that in mind when you do that. So I just want everybody to be aware that there's, diff there's three different types of Copic. And then you have the Copic multi-liners, um, the Copic things that aren't markers, but they have other things. Um, who had them? They were Copic gel pen. There's a Copic gel pen that they have that's Copic, but I can't remember who had it. Someone had it. It was called Spica, Spica, Spica pens. There's a glitter gel pen that Clop um, Copic makes. I don't have them. I want them, though. They call the Copic speaker Spectre. You may had them, I think, at one point. So, so that is the stream today, guys. So, if you have liked that, thank you guys for coming, and I hope you have enjoyed this stream. So, hopefully, the next time I see you will be Monday or Saturday. I do not know when I'm going on again, so. I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, this this stream, and I have enjoyed being here with you guys. So thank you guys for coming. I realized I had one of those in there. It was two. Bye, everybody. Stay safe and pray for our loved ones because you never know. Um, pray and spend time with your loved ones because you never know when you when your time is up and you might not see them again. So take care and everybody be good and take care of each other. Bye, everybody.